Before discussing Anatta or Anatman, let's start with the six rock-hard facts about Buddhism which cannot be disputed, which cannot be denied or refuted. Number one, there is no dispute, dispute by any researcher of earliest Buddhism that the five Nikayas specifically are the oldest and existing text as pertains to Buddhism and its doctrine which exists on this earth. Number two, there is no res dispute by any researcher of Buddhism that the five Nikayas predate any and all sects, any schools of modern day Buddhism. Number three, there is no dispute by any researcher any Buddhologist of earliest Buddhism, the Theravada, formerly known as a branch of Sarvastivada, while old, unquestionably did not exist prior to the 2nd and 3rd centuries CE, that being at least 500 years after the recording of the five Nikayas. The Sanchi and Barut inscriptions, aka the Pillar Edicts, or the Edicts of King Ashok, are unquestionably dated to the middle of the 2nd century BCE which pushes the composition of the five Nikayas back to an earlier date by mentioning the word Pancha Nikaya on the Ashoka Edicts, i.e. the five Nikayas, Pancha Nikaya. This places the Nikayas as being recorded no later than a date halfway between the death of the Buddha and the ascension of King Ashok, which would be before 265 BCE. As such, the five Nikayas are the earliest ex existing texts of Buddhism and a well-known and well-established far earlier than generally perceived by most people, i.e. Buddhists. Finally proving that the majority of the five Nikayas could not have been composed any later than a very earliest portion of the 3rd century BCE and most likely prior to this date as well. Point five. There is no res dispute by any researcher of earliest Buddhism that the concept of the Tipitaka or Tripitaka is an utterly sectarian concept as created by the Theravadans and other schools of Buddhism. The three collections are utterly heterogeneous works, specifically the numberless, of which there are 20 plus, versions of the Abhidhamma. All are commentaries upon the Nikayas and other works, the first book of which, the Katavatu, is a fight between two sects, actually several sects, of earliest Buddhism early schools of Buddhism about whether there is an Atman or not in the teachings of original Buddhism. One might equally and unintelligently comment that the Old Testament and the New Testament and the Book of Mormon comprise a Christian quote-unquote Tipitaka or Tripitaka, three collections. There is no such thing. Number six, lacking a time machine, those interested parties and researchers of earliest and original Buddhism who are specifically interested in what Buddhism did or did not teach and predates all current sects and schools of Buddhism, there exists only these five Nikayas, the, the Diga, the Majima, the Samyuda, the Anguttara, and the Kudaka Nikaya. This fact, these facts, these six points, are in dispute by none. People have tried to dispute this fact, but all they can come up with are opinions, conjectures, and other asinine comments which have no basis in fact whatsoever. There is not a single iota of evidence against any of these six points that I pointed out to you. Researchers of earliest Buddhism, such as Dr. C. A. F. Rees Davids, co-founder of the Polytech Society in England, George Grimm, Radhakrishnan, Perez Ramon, G. C. Pandey, I. B. Horner, Dr. A. K. Kumaraswamy, Julius Evola, Rene Guinon, Nikilananda, Chandran Sharmar, Dr. Hajimi Nakamura, and endless other people who have spent countless thousands of hours and many, many years of their life, like I have, dedicated to researching what earliest Buddhism did or did not teach and have completely ignored what various schools, what various sects have said or commented upon, have all come to the same conclusion, that what passes as Buddhism today is not Buddhism. And additionally, these same people have also said that there is nowhere within the doctrine of Buddhism a negation of the self or the soul. The following videos will prove as much. I will give you endless scriptural citations proving that the word anatta or anatman in Sanskrit is not a negation of the self or the soul. It is an adjective. It is a via negativa methodology, i.e. a apophatic methodology, a Greek term, for coming to the subjective self, the light, or the self or the soul through objective negation. Rupa anatta, veda anatta, sana anatta, sankara anatta, vinyanatta. All these things are not myself or not my soul. It is a fallacy of composition to say that there are no elephants here in America. There are no elephants in Alaska. Therefore, conclusions 
elephants do not exist. The same fallacy of composition by idiot Buddhists, quote-unquote, who have assumed that since 22 nouns in doctrine are said to be anatta, rupa anatta, veda anatta, etc., etc., therefore there is no Atman in Buddhism, this is a heresy, is a fallacy. No such passage exists. Actually, the Pali term for no soul is natata, found at Samyurinakeya 4.400. This is a Roman indexing, Samira Nikea 4.400. What you will not find is, is that everybody out there commenting on Buddhism says, I think Buddhism is, I feel Buddhism is, I believe Buddhism is, I was told Buddhism is, my teacher, my guru said Buddhism is. Enough of the idiots, enough of opinions, enough of doxa. Let's get to the facts. Let's discuss what Buddhism in its doctrine does and does not teach. Life is too short. Opinions are like fannies. Everybody has one and each of them stinks. I'm not interested in your opinions, my opinions. Anybody's opinions are conjectures. If we're going to discuss what Buddhism or does not teach, let's look at the doctrine and only the doctrine. Let's not look at commentary. Let's not look at what various schools of Buddhism have to say. Let's look at what the earliest teachings say. And in the following video series, I'm going to point out to you that there is nowhere in the doctrine of Buddhism, a negation of the self or of the soul. Atta Vasrati, the soul is charioteer. The only noun within the Pali Nikaya that is called eternal is the Atman. Samyura Nikaya 1.169 and countless hundreds of other passages. The only noun that is deemed to be equal to or equivalent to eternal, Nicham, as opposed to Anicha. The five khandas are not eternal, are impermanent, anicca. Rupa Vedana Anatta, Sana, Sankara, Vinyana, all of these are anicca, or impermanent. The only noun that is called eternal in scripture, let's not talk about opinions here, but scripture, is the Atman. We'll get to that in further video series. As the old TV series says, just the facts, ma'am, just the facts. Let's get to the facts. Let's leave opinions, conjectures, what teachers and commentators over the past 2,000 years have said, let's leave that aside and throw it where it belongs, in the garbage can. Let's look at what doctrine does or does not say. Enough of opinions. There's too many opinions out there. Let's just get to the facts. Thank you.